Hey guys, it's Nancy Ann. For Valentine's Day, Tina from Tina's Best Midlife and I decided that we wanted to show each other just a little bit of love and do a collaboration where we each make one of the other person's recipes. So let's get into this. I am so excited you are here for this collaboration that Tina and I decided to do together. Tina has the YouTube channel, Tina's Best Midlife, and she does all sorts of really neat stuff. She does clothing unboxing, she's done a beauty box now, she does lifestyle things, she knows quite a bit about skincare. Really great channel. If you haven't checked out her channel, I would really encourage it. I will uh, post a link of that in the drop down box below as well as pin it to the top of the comments because you're going to want to go over there and see her make my recipe but first i want to kind of unbox her recipe here that she sent me and see what is in store for me today are you ready let's get into this oh the card is adorable look at this it's so cute it says hi that is really cute the envelope over there so in here, I have a personal note. Let's see what she, oh, so here is my recipe. I really hope you and Sam enjoy it. It's one that I make quite a bit and I really like the leftovers. Well, I'm a big, I'm a big leftover fan myself. I love cooking, but it's so nice on those nights when you can cook extra and then the next night you don't have to worry about cooking so much and you just reheat. So that sounds really good to me. What do we got? This, that's the backside. I flipped it over, I get zucchini boats. Oh, I've always wanted to try zucchini boats and I've never made them before. I, maybe you have. They look really interesting. I don't know why. I'm super glad to have this. And by the ingredients, they look so yummy. So I think I have everything in here but the zucchini and the sweet Italian sausage. And I'm, you know what, Sam is out right now. I'm going to text him real quick, ask him if he can pick up the ingredients I don't have. I have almost everything here and we're going to make this for dinner tonight. So I'll be back in just a second showing you how I make her recipe. Well, it's obviously not the same day because I'm in a different shirt. We had technological problems with the camera, but we're back and we're going to make our recipe now. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you all of the ingredients and then we'll get into the actual cooking process. So first up, we're going to have four small zucchini. These were the smallest that we could find. Two teaspoons of olive oil. A small onion cut up. This made me cry, and this is not a small onion. It's half of a large one because it just seems like you can't find small onions anymore these days. But it's under this lid because if I lift it up, I will go back into crying again. <laughs> Then we have two lengths of sweet Italian sausage with the casings removed. So this is what it looks like when you purchase them. And I just did the Kroger brand. And then I took the casings off so they're, they're loose there. They're out of their bindings. Then we have one quarter teaspoon of salt, one and one quarter cups of marinara sauce, and one cup of mozzarella cheese. So to prep our zucchini, we're supposed to cut it in half lengthwise and scoop out the flesh. I'm assuming I'm supposed to cut off the little stem end right there. So I'm going to take that off. And then I'm going to cut this in half lengthwise like this. And now to scoop out the flesh, I think I'm going to use this spoon. So just a regular tablespoon and see how that works. Ooh. And I don't know, maybe I could have used a, um, a melon baller. And I want to leave a quarter inch of flesh next to the skin. That's going to help hold the ingredients in when we go to bake. And what we're making right now is the boat. I'm making sure all the seeds are coming out. I don't know if that's important, but that's what I'm doing. A little down here. Okay, so that's, I'm going to do that seven more times with this half and the other three zucchini. Okay, so here are our finished zucchini boats all gutted out. Uh, I did get a couple of zucchini casualties here, but they should be fine in the long run, so let's get on with the cooking. 
I'm going to put into my skillet that has the olive oil heating, the zucchini flesh. And I'm wondering if I should have chopped those little pieces up, but I think they'll probably cook down. And the onion. That might be a lot of onion, but we like onion, so it should be fine. The sausage links, and I'm going to break those up with this sharp-edged spatula, or is that a spatula I have here? They're sticky. And the one quarter teaspoon of salt. So now I'm just going to do some breaking up and cooking, and then we'll get on to the next step. I have set the timer for eight minutes because it says to cook this for eight minutes. I have a feeling you may not necessarily want it to be completely cooked through. So we'll see you at the end of eight minutes. I don't want things to stick on the pan. Okay, I'm supposed to add the marinara sauce to the bottom of a 9 by 13 dish. I will do that now while I'm waiting for the zucchini to cook. And then on top of that, I'm supposed to arrange my zucchini boats. So I'll use those to kind of shove the marinara sauce around. I think maybe I had a little bit bigger zucchini than was intended for this recipe. I'm going to just cram them in there. Okay, so that's waiting for the sausage mixture to be done, and then I'll add them to that. This smells really good. I also went ahead and I preheated my oven to 450 degrees. This is what it looks like after cooking for eight minutes. The sausage isn't really brown, it's just no longer pink. I'm assuming this is how it's drained. I only have really big colanders. And Tina said that this is important. You really want to drain this well or else it's going to be a soupy mess inside of the zucchini boats. So now we're going to take this mixture and I'm just going to evenly spoon it into each one of our little zucchini boats. Advantage to them being so close together is that spillage will probably go into the, its neighbor. <laughs> Whoops, spillage. I want to make sure I get all this yummy stuff in these. I feel like maybe I could have done three instead of four zucchini because I had such big zucchini. Tina will have to weigh in, so look for her comments down below. She might tell you what she thinks about that. All right, now we're gonna put some mozzarella cheese on it. Let's get sprinkled evenly over. This is one and a quarter cups of mozzarella cheese, and I'm just gonna try and evenly sprinkle this over the zucchini boats. This is fun. I've never, ooh, this is gonna be a lot of cheese. Of course, when it's finely shredded, it um, covers a little more thickly because the thicker pieces take up less space, basically. You probably get a, actually a little more weight in cheese for one and a quarter cups with finely shredded than you do with the regular shred. That's fine with me. Hard to have too much cheese. This is an organic mozzarella, by the way. I do organic on everything I can within reason. Okay, now I'm gonna seal this with foil. So now I'm supposed to seal my zucchini boats tightly with aluminum foil. Pardon the racket. I 
Okay, that's that's good. And now we're just going to put it in the oven for 35 minutes. Take this out. Got my bread right there. So we're going to remove our foil after 35 minutes of cooking. I'm going to put this back in the oven uncovered for five minutes and then it will be done. And that's what it looks like fully baked. So we will plate it up and do a taste test. Salt, and this is dashed lemon pepper. with that. Okay, are we ready to do a taste test of Tina's Zucchini Boats? Here we go. I made it with pasta like she suggested. Make sure I get a little of the marinara sauce. There goes Ruger and a piece of pasta. Here we go. Mmm. That's really, really good. Yep, this one gets two thumbs up. So thank you so very much for watching. If you would like this recipe, go ahead and email me at my email address, address down below. Um, if I am able, I will type it out and actually put it in the comments. And I wanna thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this recipe exchange with Tina from Tina's Best Midlife and I. Be sure and go over to her channel and look for her making my recipe. And happy Valentine's Day to you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye and be blessed. I want to apologize if you hear the dog barking. There's another dog outside and we can't control that. So we got to get this in one take.